You know, kids really need to learn about terraforming pl uh, our planet and how good it could be, the conservation of everything and the improvement. Because there's a lot of missing berry bushes. How do the bears get enough food, you know? So what I was thinking was, um, we bring this about through, we need like maybe a Transformers, kids, uh, it could be maybe a TV show or a movie along with a video game and what's based around is the next wave of transformers comes to our planet and they're like you know transforming into like tractors and like mining equipment and stuff and then they're like actually fixing up the planet as they like turn into like eco like you know quick tree planters and stuff as you like, you know, got to get the specs up on the planet, like how many, you know, animals are having babies. I don't know. Then you have like, you know, all the like pregnant animals like around the undergrowth and then like the robot comes through and like, you know, sucks them up and then like they come out the other side like having given birth. I don't know why because it's hilarious with the baby next to him um cause it just needs to be silly and not that realistic but yeah you can like do all the improvements through transformers like you can uh... put in um... a high speed train across alaska over to asia from america and have that all set up the way it would be done like you have different missions and you have like different transformers, like submarine transformers. You gotta go in and like hold the pieces of the pipe, polymer pipe in place. It's all clear. And then you got like, you know, Decepticons coming in and trying to use government forces to, you know, always come in with like submarines and like shoot missiles at them. Like it's, I don't know, the Russians or whoever, random, silly, stupid things, you know, overly cartoony uh human faces you know being tricked by decepticons into stopping world improvements i think this is pretty awesome sounding like it's like an rts game sort of like uh not like army and rts uh and whatever anyways it's pretty fabulous uh, you can have things like you know you got to harvest a bunch of fields of different types of mixture of grain and flowers and then like you gotta feed mass amounts of like cows and other grazing animals like certain parts of the world and you gotta like set up transformers like train creation so you can like get the grain to other parts of the world where it's needed where there aren't enough railroads yet um you know, I really want to inspire kids to be the next wave of engineers to fix this planet, because I sure want to fix the planet. Um, and that means good food, too, so this game promotes that as well. And it can all be under the header of something that already exists. Hey, guys. So, we, uh, you know, had a little bit of trouble getting the Transformers uh, footage for talking about the movie, but uh, it's in all your brains. Fuck you for being monsters, and you know why. Uh, Transformers, they come from space, like my brother said, and I was just going to say the part that I remembered really quick here. They are different insects. They're destroying the world ecologically, you know, while the other Transformers are better insects and animals and things that, you know, help repair the world. And they're at a sulfur mine and they're, they're transformed from insects into the materials the machines required to concentrate, uh, like uranium out of the sulfur. And then uh, Optimus Prime and the other bot Autobots, including Bumblebee, show up. 
and they are like have been harvesting like bumblebee harvest bee honey that's why he's called bumblebee i assume this series comes from us and it never was in the past and you guys are just ripping us off and he sprays like honey all over the hot uranium metal of the machines and like cools them off to where they can't keep the reaction going because it like foams and there's infinite foam pouring and it looks super cool in CG off of all the metals of the irradiated Decepticon as he like slaughters it with a you know a foaminess explosions as he sprays it out of his you know giant guns that have come out of his arms and then you know Optimus Prime like releases chlorophyll gas that neutralizes the the your air around the area and contains the uranium and they're like flipping around and shooting all these different you know like frequencies of lasers to cauterize surfaces as like rust explodes off of surfaces back into brightly colored like conveyor belts and stuff uh yeah that's just the scene that i was talking about and the decepticons are evil the end because they deceive instead of being honest <laughs> like you fuckers all right, so I somehow the footage got ghost deleted um, for Transformers, so I'm trying to recreate the story I told a little bit, which is that I was going to play a character where the cows in the field get transformed by the nanobots, and then they're like fighting the what's eating all the grain and stuff in the different fields and the beets and everything in the ground like the evil uh, insecticons that are turning it all into metal in their foundry bellies to like make shitty products or whatever so then um, I show up in a truck all super drifting you know through the night and screech to a halt by a giant pile of what looks like straw bales but it's actually like golden metal like fake crafted to look like straw on the outside of like metal cubes from like all the Decepticons chewing through a section and like turning it into metal they're gonna do something with <clears throat> but what has already prevented the Decepticons and destroyed most of them at the point when I arrive is the fact that all the cattle in the area in the different fields have been transformed with Transformers technology so they're like now like metal foundry beasts and they like you know use burn. their different metal stomachs to yeah they burn different you know types of metal in their stomachs as they eat you know what they would normally graze but they're like supercharged now so they have like the long horns with giant you know metal horns and they snort, you know, hot mist from foundries inside of themselves. And they glow a bright red? Yeah. And then uh, they come in, you know, they charge, and they're smashing all of the insect cars that are trying to eat all the food in the fields, flipping them all over and blowing them up against everything. Uh, lots of CG. I described it a lot better before. Um, I guess you can stop here for now. Alright, so like my brother was saying about Decepticons, and uh, I thought this was really awesome, and it really makes me happy that we can make such an amazing movie for people. Um, I'm sorry that we lost the footage, but that's what happens when your pieces of shit you guys are. Uh, there's dolphins that hop out of the water, and they're made of metal and they, you know, like they transform and, uh, um, they're, you know, Oh, they're submarine dolphins. Submarine dolphins, that's what I was saying, you know, th that's the part we didn't mention, the submarines turn into dolphins. And they use their prehensile penises to, uh, you know, <laughs> do work underwater. Yeah, because they don't have hands. Yep. Gotta fix pipelines and stuff. Super yeah. welding dolphin penises. <laughs> Gotta like, stop those oil spills, you know? Yeah. I also had a video I made where I was in the kitchen, I remember, like a week ago, and I said, sang the song, Pantsformers, Robots in Your Thighs, because as a kid I would always sing that, because I always had the intention of playing the character, because I have the juiciest, you know, mega thighs, that, you know, they're all muscular, and then they transform with, you know, nanobot technology, so I become a superhero in the movie series, or single movie, I don't know to start with. 
So that's kind of the plan, I guess.